Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today I have a rather large perfume haul for you guys. So as of lately, and it has been consistently, Armani has been doing like 40% off beauty favorites. And it's also nice because they have afterpay, which makes me feel a little less guilty if I make a large purchase. So I went ahead and I grabbed some new perfumes. If you guys do not know, I am a total perfume junkie. I will list a link below to my perfume collection. Now that video is almost a year old. My perfume collection has grew once again. Um, I've been on the fence with like doing maybe like a project use it up video where I select certain perfumes, maybe do a perfume declutter with you guys where I can maybe declutter some stuff that I just don't use because I have probably close to a hundred, if not more bottles of perfume. It's a little obnoxious, but like perfumes is just one of my things. I enjoy smelling good. I enjoy when others notice I smell good. It just kind of makes me feel good about myself. So I never like to pay a retail for perfume because perfume, hey, let's face it, it can be pricey. It can be extremely pricey. So when I see a good sale, I like to pick perfumes up and that kind of stuff, especially even if it's just to try them out. If it doesn't work for me, I declutter on Mercari pass on to friends and family and so forth. So let me jump in and get started and show you guys what I got. All these were 40% off. There was also a free gift with purchase. So the first one I have here is the Armani Air. I'm probably gonna butcher this. Dejoa? Dejoa. DG. <laughs> the Air Dejoa, I think that that's how people say it, and like there's Aqua Dejoa. So I think this is Air Dejoa. I, like I said, I'm probably butchering the name. And personally, I don't know the scent notes on any of these. I don't think they have them on the box. No. But anyways, I picked up like the whole line from this collection and they are all phenomenal. I think I skipped out on one because it had some very warm notes. A lot of these had fresh notes or floral notes. I tend to be a floral fresh person when it comes to perfume. So I did grab this. They only had the one fluid ounce. The bigger one sold out at 40%, but I think I only paid $28 for this. The next one I grabbed is the C Fiori, and that is the Ode Parfum. I think these are, yeah, these are all Ode Parfums. Ode Parfums do last longer than Ode Toilettes. So this is like a floral rendition of the traditional C. I was not a fan of the traditional C, but the Fiore, it complements me really well. Very nice floral, so that one is definitely a keeper for me. This one is the perfume that Beyonce used to endorse. This is the Emporio Armani Diamonds Eau de Parfum. Once again, this one is a one ounce. The C, I think, was on the larger side. Let's go ahead and check that out. So C, I went ahead and got in 1.7. The Emporio Armani Diamonds, I got in one ounce. They had it in the larger size, but I was on the fence if I would like it or not. I got this for under $20, so really, really good price, and it has a super cute bottle. Let me go ahead and see if I can open this up and show you guys what the bottle looks like. So it looks like a diamond, and I'm really glad that I got the one ounce because considering the size, I didn't know there was something on it. Considering the size of my perfume collection, it takes me forever to actually use a bottle up. I oftentimes get asked the question, have you ever had a perfume go rancid on you? And I've only ever had one perfume in my years of collecting perfume that went rancid and it was a bottle of Paris Hilton her traditional namesake perfume, her first one that she came out with. That's the only one that has ever went bad on me. I've never experienced any other fragrances going bad on me, but I do need to get better about using my products up. So that is 
Emporio Armani Diamonds. Let's go ahead and grab this one back here. This is Sky Dejoa. Like I said, I'm going to butcher this name. Like, maybe I probably shouldn't have even filmed the video because I can't pronounce what I purchased. But I went ahead and grabbed this one. This one lends itself to be a fresh floral and so beautiful. I have no regrets getting these. I did grab this in the 1.7 ounce size. And I want to say that these were right around like the $28 price point, which I felt was really good. That's like TJ Maxx prices. Might even be better than TJ Maxx prices. So I grabbed that one. Out of all the ones I ordered, this was my least favorite. This was C. Passion. And this is just more of a heavier, heady floral, more powdery and that kind of stuff. Kind of lends itself to be on the super, super mature side. And I know some women absolutely love and adore that, especially with like YSL black opium and that kind of stuff. But those scents just don't wear well on me. They end up smelling almost like hairspray on me and they're past. So this one I will be decluttering because I don't like the dry down of it on me. And I don't crush my perfume oils. I spray and let them dry down naturally by themselves. Then we have the light version of Dejoa. And this one is a little bit on the warm side, but not extremely on the warm side. Once again, another floral note. This is more of like a bright floral. Kind of reminds you of sunshine and butterflies and summertime. Very, very pretty perfume. Like I love every rendition of these. And then I went ahead and I got the classic version as well. So this is the Aqua de Joa, and this is super, super fresh smelling, super clean smelling. Like this is a good everyday perfume. I definitely think a lot of women would get compliments wearing this because of how fresh it is. I don't think it would really offend anybody. So like I said, I did get a free gift with these. At the time they were doing a free full size lipstick. Now the lipstick shade personally isn't my forte, so I will be decluttering that on my Mercari. So they sent me Maharaja number 506, and this is a full size, full size Giorgio Armani lipstick with my purchase. So that was pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.